Newtown Mobile Greater Oil Refinery. It was the Henry Street Refinery. All of the Newtown Creek Waste Water Treatment Facility, and all of this property down to just past like where you can see was all this giant refinery. There was another refinery, uh, also with Standard Oil on the Queen side, at the southern end. This smoke track was Van Eiderstein. Van Eiderstein was a fat rendering facility, and it was like a lot of it was fat and bone rendering. There used to be a lot of that looking around the creek. They take opal, which was dead animals, you know, because it, it was horse-drawn carriages and stuff, workhorses, bring them here, turn them into glue, turn them into fertilizer, stuff like that. Uh, Peter Cooper's glue factory was here. Peter Cooper, Cooper, uh, uh, Cooper Union, Cooper uh, Stats in town. Town. Yeah, people Cooper, Cooper, Cooper Town. Yeah. Uh, and they still do. They have that. They have pumps all over the Greenpoint neighborhood where they're pulling out oil and oily water. And then they're processing, processing it at that facility. And you used to be able to see they had settling tanks also. They had like groundwater for the pits where they put the water in. And we're going to go see where they discharge the clean water later on. Uh, and that's another oil storage and distribution facility. And this is also, and these guys also refine biodiesel. And they built a power plant that's a, that's a single cycle gas turbine. And they just built that. Uh, and so they have their own power supply. And a, several of the businesses around the creek have their own power supply because the capacity of the grid around the creek is limited. And in fact, on a really hot day, uh, a lot of the businesses all throughout New York City will turn on their own generators. Uh, they'll have thousands of people generating their own energy. 